Hey, welcome back to this mini lecture. This one's on information overload. My name is Dino. Welcome. Uh, a couple quick questions. What is information overload and when was it uh, conceived? First answer. Uh, it is the excessive quality, quantity of daily information, according to Pew from 2016. It is the growth in the production of information having potentially bad consequences for people as they struggle to cope with seemingly constant streams of messages and images. Just anecdotally, I'm sure from your own daily life online, the amount of email messages, text messages, and images you see can be overwhelming depending on your, the, the amount of time on, uh, you spend online, it can be, again, overwhelming, staggering, dealing with this constant deluge of information. That is obviously uh, part and parcel of our daily internet lives today. However, the the concept of information overload was conceived many years ago. Currently, it's as of this recording, it's over 60 years ago. In 1962, it was later published by Gross in 1964. And it's popular, popularized in uh, Alvin Toffler's um, uh, iconic book, Future Shock. Data is big these days, and it's only getting bigger. Uh, according to, to Statista, uh, the amount of data created, captured, copied, and consumed globally is forecast to reach 64.2 zettabytes in 2020. For those of you who are not uh, computer scientists or, or information specialists, a zettabyte is equal to a billion terabytes, or one, one, uh, one trillion uh, gigabytes. Um, so my the, the laptop I'm recording this video on is a one is one they have a one terabyte hard drive it's basically a billion of my laptops which is sure is a lot so that's a lot uh, another um, quote over the next five years up to 2025 global data creation is projected to grow to more to more than 180 zettabytes which is astounding in 2020 the amount of data created and replicated reached a new high as it will seemingly into the distant distant future here's a uh, graph a bar a bar graph if you will showing it's a exponential curve going upwards uh, it shows data and, and uh, uh, data volume and, and zettabytes on the y-axis going up and down the x-axis going across left right it goes to 2010 to 2025 as you can see there crazy the internet correspondingly is big and it's only getting bigger like data uh, as of 20, 2014 there's a billion sites on the internet at 4.66 billion web pages online. That's as of mid-March 2016. So as you can see, it's, it's a ton of information out there contributing to this information overload. Um, we can often, these days, blame others for what's going on, but we need to also recognize ourselves that we are contributing to information overload just being human beings. Like me making this video, sharing it online with you, that is contributing to the problem. Unless, of, of course, you like this video, then maybe it's less of a problem. Maybe it's a contribution that's positive. Who knows? Uh, each day we generate 500 million tweets, 294 billion emails, 4 million gigabytes of Facebook data, 665 billion WhatsApp messages, and 720,000 hours of YouTube content. That's according to Bobson of 20, as of 2021. So I, I'm sure that, will, that, that amount will only increase over time. You know, it deals with t tweets, Facebook messages, WhatsApp, YouTube. You know, obviously... Various uh, content sites and platforms will uh, get bigger and smaller over time, but regardless, it is just increasing over time. Uh, why is information uh, overload important? It helps, it makes understanding any type of issue very complex. Uh, as a result, decision making becomes too difficult with too much information about that issue. I'm sure at times you've had this where you're just awash, especially if you're a student, awash in resource data, research books, articles, podcasts, videos, uh, anything, and it becomes just too much. Uh, over time, more data, information, websites are being produced. As a result of that, the finding, sifting through, and processing, uh, processing of this data becomes more and more complex. That was Information Overload. My name is Dino. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to like this video. Please feel free to comment. Um, do you think that uh, information overload is a real phenomenon? Do you think that the, incre the exponential increase in data and for information is overwhelming us? Are we instead becoming better at dealing with it? What role will a technology like AI play in it?
Will it only uh, increase more of it? Will it help us be able to sort of manage through that information overload better? Uh, please feel free to leave your own comments. Thanks for watching. Uh, please feel free to subscribe to this uh, channel if you'd like to see some other content. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.